Major Hollywood liberals speak out about President Oprah, reveal things no one expected. Much of the internet is still swooning over the idea of a President Oprah. After her mostly hollow speech at the Golden Globes, the vapid media all but christened her our next commander-in-chief. However, it's a long way until 2020. And, even Oprah herself won't commit to a decision. That hasn't stopped a few notable celebrities from voicing their own thoughts on the media mogul. Turns out, she doesn't have the total support in Hollywood the left thought she did. As a popular talk show host and occasional actress, Oprah Winfrey is iconic and well-known. That makes her the perfect poster child for the modern left. They only value appearance and popularity when it comes to leadership. It never occurs to them that experience and accomplishments matter more. That's why they backed, and still back, a man like Barack Obama, who had all the appearance of being presidential, but none of the substance. So, it comes as no surprise that Hollywood and the media jumped at the notion of President Oprah. A well-known celebrity running for president? Of course, why not? Trump was a celebrity, right? Except, Donald Trump is an executive, running a multi-billionaire dollar business for decades. And, he was involved in politics for years as a commentator. Oprah? Well, she interviewed people for a living. But, it looks like there might be even more reason for Oprah to stay out of politics. Numerous people have made a connection between Oprah and her relationship with disgraced producer Harvey Weinstein. It looks like her virtue signaling at the Golden Globes was more than empty. It was dishonest. Now, musician Seal has openly called Oprah out on her hypocrisy, joining many conservatives who are disturbed by her questionable past. More than that, popular Family Guy creator, Seth MacFarlane, is voicing his dissent. When an outspoken liberal is against Oprah running, you know there's a problem. Internationally renowned musician Seal trashed Oprah Winfrey on social media just days after her widely praised speech at the Golden Globe Awards on sexual misconduct in Hollywood, calling her a part of the problem for decades. Source, Fox News Seal is repeating something that's surfaced over recent days. There was a disturbing connection between Oprah and the infamous movie producer. Just what that connection was, we don't know for sure, but it certainly tarnishes her stance as a pro-woman advocate. Then, there's Seth MacFarlane, the comedian and producer of Family Guy. You might remember Seth as the guy who called out Weinstein years ago, in a joke at the Oscars. He's also the guy who frequently called out celebrities on his animated show, including Kevin Spacey and other recently exposed entertainers. It seems like this man knows plenty about the dirt in Hollywood, and he is not afraid to share it. He wasn't afraid to go against the tide when it came to President Oprah, either. Comedian and Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane also spoke out against Winfrey, cautioning that celebrity power does not alone qualify a candidate for the presidency. Oprah is beyond doubt a magnificent order, MacFarlane wrote. But the idea of a reality show star running against a talk show host is troublingly dystopian. We don't want to create a world where dedicated public service careers become undesirable and impractical in the face of raw celebrity. Source, Fox News Seth MacFarlane's tweet is suspiciously measured. This is a man who holds no punches when he criticizes celebrities. He's done his share to slam Donald Trump and everyone else in Hollywood. But, in this comment, he is very careful about how he shapes his criticism. Perhaps he is afraid of offending liberals who are obsessed with Oprah. Or maybe, he knows plenty about Oprah's skeletons in the closet, but because she is an almost worshipped figure, he can't openly expose them. However, the sheer fact that he is going against the tide to express his dissent is telling. His concern over raw celebrity is pretty baseless. If someone is a good fit for an office, does it matter if they are a celebrity or not? This might have been McFarlane's coded way of telling his audience, hey, a President Oprah is a very bad idea. Don't even consider it. When weighing the other things McFarlane has covertly exposed on his shows, we should be considering his words. Does he know more than he's letting on? Maybe, but the fact that an outspoken liberal is against a President Oprah should be a red flag for all of us. All of us.